Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm at Thangatok Quarry. You've got all these man-made lumps and hillocks, and then you've got these big quarries where they dug out all of the limestone. Just gonna have a look to see how the framing is, so I know exactly where to put the camera. Thinking maybe there. The sun's just about poking out now and it's going to start casting that light on this landscape. I'm not 100% sure about this shot, but I'm going to grab this one and then I've got a few others that I spotted when I walked along the top of the escarpment. Could get a little bit hectic before we lose that golden light. It's not quite casting enough light on the landscape yet, but hopefully that light will come through any minute now. And when that light first pops up, there's not that much to hit all of this landscape. But very quickly, as that sun comes into full view, it really does change the landscape. There aren't any clouds above where the sun is, so I know that sunlight is gonna last for quite a while. Just gonna use a three stop soft grad to take the edge off that sky a little bit. I'll still bracket as well because that sky is really bright, but this just drops the brightness of that sky just a touch. So the 17 is not quite wide enough. The sun is just sitting right at the edge of the frame and it doesn't look great. Let's go F16, come around a bit more. Still not brilliant. I'll try a shot without the sun as well. There are some lens flares coming into the shot and they're not that pretty. And when I actually block them out, my hand is actually in the frame because it's so wide. So what I'll have to do is just edit those out afterwards. I've taken a shot, blocking them off with my hand in the frame and then I'll take another shot without my hand in the frame. So I've got that corner piece and I've got the bits where the lens flares are as well. So when I do put it together when editing, I've got all of the little bits to make a nice clean frame. Looking back at this photo, it just seems to be lacking something. I think I was too wide and also that sky is just a little bit boring. Maybe if I came back midwinter when the sun is properly in the frame with more clouds, this would work a lot better. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Come to think of it, I think the photo is actually lacking a subject or a focal point. The rocks lead my eye into the shot, but then they seem to get lost in the frame with nothing to stop at and nothing to focus on. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm shooting like this, after the light has come up and after I've been shooting and changing around and getting lots of different shots, I end up with chaos everywhere. Bag open, lens caps, lens hoods. So I've always got to do a run around to make sure I pick everything back up. I have had a few shoots where I've left things lying around and I've gone away and luckily I've come back and found them, but it's not a brilliant thing to do. So I wouldn't advise doing this. So now I've got that shot. It's okay, it's not brilliant and the light is getting brighter. What I like to do is just walk around and get different shots of the landscape. I know my shutter speed's high enough to get a good shot handheld. So I think I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna walk back along the escarpment and then come down into here. Cause there's some interesting stuff all around this place. So I'm gonna explore basically. Now the wind's really picked up. Clouds are building up as well. So the sun is going in and out. It still could make for some interesting scenes though. I've got a few ideas around here because I did a location scout probably about a month ago. So I'm gonna go to those locations now and see how different they look with a little bit of sunlight on the scene. I'm also gonna see if I can find some other shots along this escarpment. Now, the one thing I'd say to take away from this video is to sometimes just go out and enjoy what you're doing. Don't worry about whether you mess up. Don't worry about 
whether you don't get the shot, just enjoy being out in the fresh air and out in some really nice locations. The weather will sometimes work in your favor and other times it will completely go against you. But as long as you're enjoying what you're doing, that's the main thing. The views from this location are absolutely fantastic. And there's some really interesting lines in these landscapes, interesting mountains. And because that sun is really low, you can pick out all interesting shadows on the fields, shadows on the mountains and things like that. This is what I mean about being patient about the light. I've probably been waiting here about 10, 15 minutes for that sunlight to come through, but the clouds are building up quite a bit. There's basically a tree that I want to photograph up on this cliff. So once the sun shines on it, it should create quite a nice shadow behind it, bringing it out from the face of the cliff. I was here on the location scout. It did squash it as if it was almost drawn on the cliff. Here we go. There's some light. Now, after looking back at this photo of the tree, even with the light on it, it doesn't really stand out. And I think it's because the color or the brightness of the tree is quite similar to the rocks. If those rocks were a lot darker, this would have stood out so much more. So you can see it really is a waiting game when it comes to landscape photography and in getting those shots. And some of them might not even work. So you do have to be really patient. And just like that, the light is gone. It's amazing how quickly it can come and go and how quickly the cloud base can change. All of a sudden, a load of clouds are built up in the sky and it's pretty much overcast. So I think that's it for the day but I really enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun. This landscape is quite unique. It's quite man-made, but it's man-made a long time ago. Mm -hmm.